Welcome to The Hypnotist, the show that gives you inside access to cutting-edge hypnosis with real clients facing genuine issues. Brought to you by the hypnotherapist demanded by celebrities, CEOs, and even royalty, Adam Cox. These recordings took place live from Adam's clinic in London's world-famous Harley Street. This podcast features powerful hypnosis, so do not listen while driving or operating machinery. This recording is not suitable for those with epilepsy or severe mental health issues. So, get yourself comfortable and enjoy today's episode of The Hypnotist. Hi, it's Adam here, and in today's episode of The Hypnotist, we're going to be doing a random hypnosis session based around a, uh, a randomly generated celebrity and three random nouns, just to see uh, if we can tap into the resources that makes this particular celebrity good in whatever their field is. Um, because I don't know all of the celebrities, the celebrity generator that I use creates three celebrities, and then I choose one of them to build the hypnosis session around. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And perhaps for the session, we'll use something they're known for. So maybe if it's a movie or a song or a particular talent that they have, you know, expect that that will kind of tap into it. What I also wanted to I'm going to reduce my volume here. What I also wanted to say um, is a big thank you to every um, everyone that listened, but particularly new listeners, because um, it's now the end of January. So I've been able to analyze the download figures uh, for January. And what was really profound for me is the increase in numbers, particularly new audiences. So for a, a frame of reference, in December, there was about 65 thousand downloads which itself is mind-blowing to me because uh, for the first three or four months there was like an average of like two or three per day you know and now there's like thousands per day so that, that's really humbling to see but in January in contrast to the 65,000 in December it's about 108,000 and the day is not even finished yet so there's still a few more hours of the month and and that is mind-blowing for me because um, I set out as a goal as a mission um, to impact the lives of one million people through the hypnosis that I create. And based on the current trajectory, that one million download figure is probably going to be hit in March. So that's like you know a couple of months away. Some of the audience are going to listen to the sessions multiple times. So you can't really say there's a million people yet, you know, or even in March, because I, I hear personally some of the messages, they say, oh, I listen to your show every night before I go to bed or whenever I can't sleep. Um, so it may take, you know, let's say until the end of this year to genuinely impact one million different people. Um, and this is what I love about technology like YouTube, like podcast, is that I can take my creativity, my ideas, uh, my understanding and use of hypnotherapy and impact a much bigger audience than I could if I was just working with clients one by one. And for me, you know, that isn't possible without you know, having an audience to, to kind of do this hypnosis too. So thank you very much uh, for that and, and for the continued support. So what I'm going to do now is do the hypnosis element. So I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to generate the random celebrity first. So let's generate that. Processing. Let's see if it generates three new ones. Because these ones were here before. Doesn't seem to be generating any new. Let's refresh the screen. Okay, here we go. So we have uh, Drew Brees. I'll be honest, I haven't heard of. Um, we have Kiri or Kyrie Irving. Also, I haven't heard of, and Angelina Jolie. So those watching on YouTube will be able to see these three faces randomly generated on screen. The only one I know is Angelina Jolie, so I think it makes sense. Uh, to use her for this particular session. And then we're going to generate three random nouns to fuse into this hypnosis session. So we have sharp, goat, and restrict. So we're going to tap into these um, as well. What I might do is just do a quick Google of Angelina Jolie's home. Um, Angelina Jolie home. Um, so I've got some images here of 
uh, where she lives. Um, it is a $25 million mansion in Los Feliz, California. Um, and uh, yeah, there's lots of images here. So I'm going to use these. So this hypnosis session is going to be based in a, uh, yeah, a mansion in Los Feliz in California. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen now to go back to me. I've got my 15 minute sand timer here. Um, and if you haven't listened to this um, hypnosis before um, or, or an episode before, the goal is to get yourself in a comfortable place where you won't be disturbed, close your eyes if you can and it's safe to do so. And then take my words and create almost like a guided meditation that is designed to do something positive for you. And that's really the key difference between hypnosis and guided meditation is that as part of the guided meditation, there is going to be certain tools, techniques and principles within clinical hypnotherapy fused into this session that ideally is going to have some kind of useful or beneficial impact for you. So find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed, relax and enjoy the session. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe in, imagine breathing in a feeling of calm and relaxation. On the outward breath, if it's safe to do so, allow your eyelids to close, and in doing so, notice that your body seems to relax effortlessly. Then as you breathe in and breathe out, with each and individual breath, you're able to go deeper and deeper, relaxed. That's right. I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine that you are flying above an exclusive neighborhood in California. Maybe you've heard of places around Los Angeles like Beverly Hills, but I want you to imagine that you're flying over a neighborhood called Los Feliz. Maybe you can imagine seeing things through the eyes of a drone or a helicopter, or even imagine that you're a superhero just flying over these mansions in this exclusive part of the world. I want you to get a sense that one particular mansion stands out. From above, you can see the incredible gardens, the pools, the fountains, the large estate of green lawns. And I wonder what it would be like to imagine flying down and touching down in this incredible garden adjacent to this incredible mansion. Perhaps you can see the fountains, the pools, and I want you to imagine that there is a sun lounger by the side of one of these pools that have crystal clear waters and steps that go naturally into the pool, but with real rocks that border the side of the pool. Imagine lying down on one of these sun loungers and imagine what it would be like to relax so deeply that you fall asleep into a daydream, nap, or perhaps even deeper trance-like sleep there on that sun lounger by the pool next to this impressive mansion. In fact, I will count down from five to one and you will imagine what it would be like for all of your muscles to relax. Muscles in your face, your shoulders, your neck, your arms, Everything relaxed so much that you can drift off to perhaps one of the deepest sleeps that you could imagine. 
five. Feeling the weight of the eyelids go down, down, down so much. Relaxing the muscles in your forehead, your cheeks, your jaw. That's it, four. Allowing that relaxation now to spread to your neck and your shoulders. All the way down your arms, that's it, three to your fingers. Arms getting heavy, heavy, heavy now, that's it. As you breathe in, and your internal organs relax, your heart, your stomach, your lungs, all the way down now to your legs too. That's it, legs getting so heavy and one all the way down to your feet. Even your toes can relax now. One and then zero and then imagine what it would be like to fall asleep. There on that sun lounge, you're by that pool, hearing the sound of fountains there in the background. In fact, you've fallen asleep so deeply that you're now dreaming that you're in the same garden and you can see yourself fast asleep on that sun lounger, meaning that you are now not in your own physical body, but in your own imagination. And your imagination would like to explore this mansion. And it occurs to you that this is the home that belongs to Angelina Jolie. She's not there. None of her family are there. It's completely vacant. Because this isn't her real home. This is what you imagine her home to be like. Imagine walking in. Seeing. Perhaps tiled floors. Impressive furniture. Maybe artwork. Maybe trophies or awards. Pictures on the wall. I want you to get a sense get a sense that this perhaps is in sharp contrast to what you would imagine her to live in. And perhaps on one of the walls is a picture of a goat. I don't know if it's photography or perhaps painted and as you look at a goat on a wall in a mansion a different connotation of goat is the acronym greatest of all time perhaps you can think of that in terms of sports maybe business but I want you to think of it in terms of the qualities of being a human. Here you are in Angelina Jolie's imaginary home. And I wonder throughout her career where you consider her to be the greatest of all time. Maybe early in her career when she's winning awards for acting. Maybe as she became more famous, playing the role of Lara Croft in Tomb Raider. Or maybe later on, she was choosing movies that perhaps wouldn't do so well in the box office, but would have more of a story to tell. Maybe as you look around this mansion, you can see pictures of her perhaps at the United Nations, her role as an ambassador. And I want you to get a sense that maybe within her life she considers that the greatest moment of all time in her lifetime. Perhaps not acting, but what she was able to do for vulnerable people. Or maybe she considers the role of being a mother. The greatest of all time moments within her life. And I want you to think of whichever part of her life resonates with you the most. 
when you consider her to be at her most resourceful, at the peak of her impact. Don't restrict your thinking to just thinking in terms of acting. Make it wider. And perhaps within this mansion is a cinema room. And I want you to go into that room and look at a big screen and then see her on the screen when you feel she was at her greatest of all time. The goat within her life. Sharpen the contrast and then revisit her when you consider her to be at her very best. Maybe rewind it fast forward to find not just a scene or a moment or a memory, but the specific time that you can tell from her facial expressions. She was in a particular state at her most resourceful, her most impactful. And then imagine drifting from your seat in the cinema into the screen where you imagine what it's like to feel like her at that resourceful state. Maybe there's a particular quality that comes to mind. A driving motivation. A thought, a belief. As you scan this unique experience of Not just imagining what it's like to be someone, but imagining what it's like to be someone at their very best. The greatest of all time within their life. Scan for those resources, those beliefs, those strategies. And feel that in the same way that your phone updates its operating system. Perhaps every few months to have the latest possible utility and functionality, imagine that occupying this moment in this life at this time enables you to update your operating system, meaning the thoughts, beliefs, strategies and resources that perhaps were utilized by Angelina Jolie then are now being open to be utilized by you. feel these resources, these beliefs, integrate with your beliefs. These resources integrate with your resources, almost like the process of osmosis. Really feel that that's being updated, integrated, and then go back to the cinema chair. Looking up at that screen, only now you see you with those resources. I want you to play a movie of what it would be like for you to be the greatest of all time, the goat within your life. What would you be doing? What impact would you have? What would be the pinnacle of your life? The point of your life that you consider you to have the biggest impact, you at your very best. See yourself doing that, experiencing that, and see that you've got all of those resources, that you've sharpened your skills, and all of them are available to you now. That any restrictions and limitations on beliefs and resources, whatever was there to restrict is now no longer restricting. You just see yourself as the goat the greatest of all time, not compared to anyone else, but for you. You are the greatest of all time within your life. See what you're doing, feel what you're doing, observe it as if you're watching someone else on a huge screen in a cinema, inside a mansion that belongs to someone perhaps whose qualities you admire. And maybe there are three or four or five different movies that you can see. But think, what are you doing? Why does it matter? What resources or skills or abilities that are unique or available to you are you utilizing in a way to have that impact? This isn't a blueprint, a 
prophecy or destiny, it's just inspiration. Ideas of possibilities that may help you to become more sharp. There can be a blunt version of you and there can be a sharp version of you and the sharp version of you is able to accomplish more and impact more. And as you leave that cinema, you take those resources with you. That you're sharpening the sword in your life, letting go of anything that was there to restrict and leaving with an intention to be the greatest of all time within your life. You walk back into the garden towards the pool and then you see yourself lying there by the side of a pool fast asleep and you don't wake yourself up you climb into that body so you are now in the sleeping version of you you get up off the sun lounger perhaps take a paddle in the pool but feeling profoundly different in some way an intention to be you at your very best and then you realize all of this is just a journey within your imagination a dream within a dream an idea within an idea and actually are in the mansion an imaginary mansion of Angelina Jolie you're in your physical body right now listening to me and very soon I will count from 1 to 10 to awaken you, to enable you to tap into these resources, strategies, beliefs to be the very best version of you possible. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Wiggle those fingers, wiggle those toes, get a sense that you're in your own physical body right now. As I start to count from 1 to 10 to awaken you. 1, 2, 3, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. Thank you for listening to The Hypnotist with Adam Cox, the show that gives you inside access to cutting edge hypnosis with real clients facing genuine issues. To automatically receive the latest episodes, please subscribe. If you'd like to support the show, please share this episode with just one friend you think it could help. And if this episode helped you, please leave us a five-star review. Thanks for watching that. I hope you found it useful. Um, this is only the second of the uh, randomly generated celebrities ones that I've done. I think the first one was Kylie Jenner. Uh, this is Angelina Jolie. Um, I think I'm gonna do a few more of those. If they start to get too repetitive, then I'll phase it out and we'll introduce some other random variable um, or something else. But for now, um, I'm gonna see where it goes. Still useful to see the random nouns kind of going into there. Um, if you found it useful, please uh, comment below, like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm to find new audiences. If you have any comments, anything you want to share, give feedback on, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.